What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of West End Wednesdays, your favorite shoe reviewer. You know what time it is, but first, I want to give a huge shout out to True Classic Tees for sponsoring this video. If you guys are looking for, I'm talking about clean, premium quality t shirts, long sleeve shirts, tank tops, because I'm 6'3, sometimes it's hard to find a shirt that fits exactly the way I want it. Well, with them, on their website, they have a spot where you can list your height, your weight, and then the size or basically the fit that you're looking for. If you're looking for more of a tight, firm fit in the middle or a loose fit, you can select all of that stuff and then they'll recommend a certain size for you. I did that and it was perfect. Uh, their basic tees are made of ring spun cotton and polyester. Their long sleeves are made of a tri-blend of rayon, cotton and polyester, some of the nicest quality stuff for very affordable prices. So with that being said, man, you need to check them out. And because they are true classic tees, all of their shirts are solid basic colors. So you can dress these things up, you can dress them down. There's no graphics on them, which I really, really dig. And I actually, I, I mean, I really approve of something like that because now at this point in my life, I don't really need a ton of graphics. I want something simple that I can wear with anything and that's what they do. Be sure to check them out, True Classic Tees. And with the code WESTIN15, you can get 15% off of any of your purchases. So don't waste any time. I'm telling you right now, these shirts are legit. You can use them in the gym. You can use them on every, any day, whatever you want to do. I'm telling you, check them out. You won't regret it. I promise you that. Now with that being said, let's get into this shoe review. This week, we're taking a look a closer look at the New Balance, the Fuel Cell Echo. This is actually the New York City uh, colorway, uh, the Marathon colorway, which is really cool as you can tell right off the top. I'm gonna talk about that, I'm gonna be all over, but because of the colorway, that's kind of what, you know, stagged my attention. The iridescent is a, is a huge theme right now. Back a couple years ago, it was the Volt Green. Iridescent's in right now, and that's why I scooped these things up. Now, starting with the traction, the traction in this Fuel Cell Echo, they provide these weird, not weird, but it looks like shark teeth if you look at it from a profile side, all right? But it's very, very uh, grippy, uh, springy, or whatever you want to call it. The outsole has a little stick to it, but that's going to provide for some good traction when you're running through whatever, surface, ground, you know what I'm saying? You could trail run with these things because of the grip, but uh, they're nice. It's, you know, like I said, it's shaped like shark tooth, so it grabs and you get some solid traction with that. Now the fuel cell, that's the cushion in this, and I would almost, if, you know, if I was comparing it to a Nike, I would say it's pretty close to the React cushion on Nike's uh, models, their running models. So it's very springy. There's a nice comfort underfoot when this, uh, when the shoe's on. As time goes and they break in even more, they're gonna be fantastic, fantastic. Now the upper, it's fully knit, which I, I'm a big fan of that, big fan, because not only does it breathe, but there's this immediate movement when your foot is in the, sh is in the shoes. I really, really approve of that. Now the top part is, basically it's really stretchy knit, okay? And at the top though, around the, the toe box on the toe, they added a little bit of double or triple knit, I don't know what you wanna, reinforce knit, whatever you wanna call it, but what that does is it secures a little bit more of a, you know, durability on that, that point because you'll feel it when, the, when your foot is in there, there's just so much movement. You need some stability at the, the front part of the, the, the shoe and, that, and that's what that does. So, and then they kind of provide a cool little design with that as well. Uh, but that helps keep your feet or your toes at the point uh, of the, the, the shoe a little bit more stable. Now, as you move down towards the back of the shoe or the midfoot, they actually add a little bit more reinforced knit as well where the end of New Balance logo is at. And then the back part is a cushioned heel counter with this iridescent heel, heel counter. It's a polyurethane heel counter, which is really cool on that back part as well. And then the tongue, it's attached to the midsole, all right, for stability and lockdown purposes, but there's a ton of movement and that is, it's pretty flexible as well. So really comfortable. Uh, it wraps around your foot. There's no issues there. This, the, the cool thing about these laces too, which is the first time I've actually seen this, but these laces are actually stretchy. So when you tie your shoes, I mean, you can really get a, a nice, good fit, 
tight, tight because of the shoestring stretch, which I've never seen before. Like I said, on the tongue, it says Mar Marathon City, sorry, New York City Marathon, but it's in a royal blue, okay? Royal blue, which is pretty cool. The insole, drop insole, you have your NYC logo in yellow and multiple different colors, but you have your NY runner shoe for New Balance on the bottom of the heel, okay? But it's drop in, so that's really cool. Cool little concept there. Now, the, the fit, I wanna really talk about the fit because that's kind of my only issue on this shoe. Everything else is really top notch, but if you really need stability and a little bit more form fitting on the toe box of any type of shoe, if you're a runner that needs that, this shoe right here has a ton of movement up top, a, a lot. Uh, I don't mind it as much because I'm not an avid runner, I run, but uh, the movement doesn't really freak me out. But if that's something that you guys really, really need to have, this shoe may not be for you. There is a, it's, it's wider in the toe box and because of the, the knit and how flexible it is, there's a ton of movement, okay? so. That's one thing to think about. It's like I said, it's, for me, it's not a big hindrance, but uh, for somebody else, it might be. Now, the biggest issue of this shoe uh, for me is the heel, okay? The Achilles part, although it's really nice and comfortable as it sits in, because of the way that the shoe is angled and there's reinforced stitching right down the middle of that back part right there, this really rubs on your Achilles. I haven't ran in them. I basically walked around in the house a couple different times with them on and they are pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying just walking around. Uh, if you're somebody that wears socks below that point, it's not gonna happen unless you can deal with it rubbing and forcing blisters because it's going to happen. I'm telling you that. You're going to need to wear these shoes with crew side socks or if you have ankle socks that will go above that point, that's your only bet until it really breaks in. Uh, in my opinion, I think after a while it may, it may uh, break into where it's not as much of an issue, but right off the bat that's going to be something that you guys are going to be uh, having to deal with. I got this shoe, the regular price is well, it doesn't even say it on the box, but at New Balance, they have like a 30% site-wide off sale. So I found these for, I think they were 108 actually, they were 119 regular retail, but I got them for like 60 bucks because I had, I found that percentage, that 30% off, and when I saw them, I was like, need them. So I scooped them up super fast. So in my opinion, super good deal. And like I said, I'll, I'll deal with this back part, but that is an issue. So other than that, man, I don't normally do this, but when I do, I shoot with you. I'm out of here. Peace.